Hello, my name is Dennis, and welcome to my Trailer Park White Trash Mobile Home Kitchen. I really do live in a mobile home, in a trailer park, and this is my kitchen. As you can see, we are not in my kitchen. We are in my neighbor's backyard. This is David. Yeah. He has a Weber grill that is equipped with an, a pizza oven attachment. And so we're going to make in his backyard focaccia today. So we're going to fire up the grill and while the grill is heating up, I'm going to introduce the ingredients and then we'll start assembling. Sounds great. Let's do it. Okay. So David is firing up his grill. This takes about 45 minutes to an hour to completely heat up. Uh, I see the smoke rising. That's a good sign. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that smoke! Whoa! We're gonna have smoked focaccia, folks. She's lit. She's lit. We're ready to go. For my ingredients here, I made some bread dough. This is made a couple of hours ago. It's had a chance to go through a couple of rises. This is cornmeal to put on the pizza peel to slide the pizza. The focaccia, in this case, in and out of the pizza oven. I have extra virgin olive oil, some freshly ground black pepper. This is my salt cellar. I'm using sea salt in there. Guillard cheese, Romano cheese, and then I have three different kinds of meat here. These are just two different types of sausage, salami rather, and some prosciutto. I'm going to start off by using prosciutto, and then if I have enough dough left over, we'll work with the salamis. So those are the ingredients that I'm working with. All right, so the wood is going now to get this thing really up to temperature, and this will get up over 800 degrees. Briquettes as well as, now what is this wood? Red oak. Red oak is going in. And he's got it going in in a horseshoe pattern so that as it comes up to fire, it's not, okay, and here comes the behemoth. And that's what makes this a pizza oven, because there's a place to insert the pizza now. And this is going to take about, what, 30 minutes to come up to temperature? Probably quicker. Probably, um, so we're right now, should be up there probably about 10, 15 minutes. All right, so 10 to 15 minutes, this will be up to temperature, and then we can start assembling our focaccia. I'm going to start with one pizza focaccia dough here. I'm going to make this kind of thin. The oven has come up to, well, the, the temperature gauge pegged at 850 degrees. So we're anywhere near or above that. And this doesn't have to be really nicely rounded like at a pizzeria. That should work. While I got this out, I might as well sprinkle some cornmeal on there. I might as well just dress this right on there. Put some olive oil on there. We took a little bit of time there to adjust the white balance because right in the middle of the scene, the sun came out. So now I'm just going to peel some pieces of Gruyere and put those over the top. I love making focaccia with Gruyere. Well, I like Gruyere anyways. And you just use a potato peeler to get nice, thin pieces. One more, I think, right there. And then just lay on a few pieces of prosciutto. This is another thing I love. I love cooking with prosciutto. And 
There we go. That looks nice. A little bit of freshly ground black pepper. A little bit of sea salt. And then finally a little bit of Romano cheese on top. And that is ready to slide into the oven. So now, if I'm doing this right, we just slide this in onto the pizza stone. Like so. And that should cook in, according to David's estimations, anywhere from a minute to a minute and a half. Is that right? Might take a little longer today. Might take a little bit longer today. So we, we have all day. All right, I think we're about done here so there is our pizza out of the oven looks nicely browned on the bottom let's cut this up and see how it tastes Ooh, a pizza cutter never never worked with one of these before nice crisp crust All right, let's taste these. Grab a piece. Got a piece. Mm. Nice and brown on the bottom. Check oh. that out. <laughs> that is fantastic. It's amazing. Cooked in minutes. It's so simple. Wow. That is very, very nice. Okay, for this, again, a little bit of olive oil. And this is capicola here, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Arrange some of that on there. I'm going to put the meat on the bottom and the cheese on top this time to see how the cheese browns. Again, put some Gruyere on there. Nice, nice, nice. I think this is the best way to make focaccia. One more piece over here. Like that. Again, a little bit of black pepper. And a little bit of sea salt. And some more Romano. Just light. All right, and then make sure that that's not sticking. Good, and slide that into the oven. So there it is on the pizza stone in the oven, the flame going nicely. We're gonna turn that a few times to get it to cook evenly and that'll be ready to taste. All right, let's taste this and see what this tastes like. Mm. Perfect. Mm. <laughs> oh my God. That is so this good. Is beyond amazing. Perfect crust. Perfect crust. Yeah. Just incredible. Mmm. All right, for my third and final one, I've used up all of my dough. I'm going to use this, if I'm pronouncing it correctly, calabres or calabres salami. So again, some extra virgin olive oil. And there's my slices of salami. I managed to get this one nicely round. See if I can arrange those a little bit nicer. All right, and then again, put some more cheese on top. Of 
Gruyere. And you can put a lot of different cheeses. You can use mozzarella if you wanted to. You could use a smoked Gouda. One friend of mine calls it Auda. That's nice. And then a little bit of Romano. Not much. And then again, a little bit of sea salt. And then finally, once again, some freshly ground black pepper. Although this, the salami has peppercorns in it, so I'm not sure how much salami is needed, I mean how much pepper is needed. And that's loose, so that is ready to slide into the pizza oven. All right, here's our last focaccia for the day. Mm. Nicely browned on the outside. Perfect on the bottom. Oh, that is so good. Mm. Wonderfully crisp. Oh my. Fantastic. Mm. Wow. Savoring every bite. So there you have it. Three delicious focaccias made in a Weber grill outside in my neighbor's backyard. All three of them were absolutely delicious. Hopefully you have a chance to do something like that for yourself. For a printable PDF copy of this recipe with step-by-step -step photographs, visit the White Trash Cooking website and look on the homepage or in the recipe archive.